everybody! Today we're gonna to see how I draw Lily Houghton from Jungle Cruise. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Action pose, action pose time. So I've been trying to mix it up a little bit and I decided for Lily, let's go with action pose. So kind of a jumping through the air, kind of like we did with uh, Frank. You know, a little jumping through the air, a little, you know, swinging from the vines kind of thing. You know, again, just more than just standing there is basically what I'm trying to do just because you know we need to we need to try different stuff and so if you're here just to practice thank you because I know everybody wants to draw stormtroopers and it's fun don't get me wrong I would love to draw stormtroopers all day long but we need to try to uh, grow our skills and practice different things. So what I usually say, the way I, I try to sell it to you, the way I try to, to spoon feed you the vegetables you don't like, is eventually one day, someone's going to need, hey, hold on, my chair is falling. <laughs> there we go. Someone is going to need a drawing from you that is a woman in jungle attire. You know, something like that, or uh, someone jumping through the air that's not a stormtrooper, you know, and so that's what I say is like you pr practice a little bit more of different characters and and that's the whole idea is just you know, I, I get it. It's not the most fun stuff in the world, especially it, this you may not even see in the movie. Uh, I, I did. It's awesome. It was fun. Super fun. You know, but that's that's what the whole thing's about. Is about just having fun. Um. So, like I said, it, it may not be for you, but if you're here practicing your skills, good for you. That's awesome. But but that's why. Uh, like I said, we we just need to practice. Um, drawing different things. So like I said, I'm glad you're here drawing along. Alright, I'm going to have her holding the, uh, the, the necklace, the little heart necklace that she has. This hand, I'm just gonna like like raising up in the air, kind of uh, reaching for a vine, kind of thing. I don't even know. <laughs> now that I say that out loud, I don't even know if there was a, a reaching for a vine scene, you know, swinging and whatnot. But uh, um, <laughs> that's that's what I'm drawing. Now, originally, before the movie comes out, I, I do my research and I check out, uh, you know, characters and, and stuff like that. And I tried to maybe, you know, find out what other characters there are, who I can I can put in here and stuff like that. And I was so excited, like all these different characters, like her brother and all this stuff, you know, and the the bad guy or the antagonist in so many words like I said well no he's a bad guy he's a bad guy um so like I said I got super excited 
but then I watched the movie. It's like, oh, these characters aren't really in it that much, you know. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to draw more characters. Like I said, don't get me wrong; they were fun, but uh, no one really stood out as far as extra people to draw. So if you want to see some more, let me know. This may be it for Jungle Cruise. short I think it's because of the the uh, what do you call it the um, the bending of the material right because their elbows here but it just seems like the elbows there but anyway I think that's good I'm happy with that so let me try and draw she has a hat on let me try and draw uh, our face real fast. Now, I've, I say this all the time, I'm gonna say it again now, I don't have the time to draw a character likeness. So, um, oh, oh my gosh, what's her name? Um, the actress. Uh, I, I don't have time get it to look exactly like her so I always tell myself that I make myself happy by convincing myself I can't do it by saying well you're drawing a cosplay character that looks like Lily If I had the time, is just to talk about stuff. If I had the time, sure, I could sit here and spend an hour, you know, getting the face just right and all that stuff, but I don't think you just want to sit here and watch me draw a face for an hour. Do you? Maybe we'll do a live video for that or something. It just seems like a big, big commitment. Big, up, big upload, really. So, yeah, maybe that's up for a live show. Uh, I'm good with that. That's not a bad, not a bad sketch. Let me see if I got a better picture of her clothes. Ooh, that's a good picture. That's a good one too. I like that. Okay, so let me erase some of these. So what I like to do is the first few lines I'm throwing down the sketch is just the position, the placement, and the proportions, the three Ps. And as I get more confident with those, I start pressing harder. So when I want to sketch, I slightly erase like this, and I'm erasing the, I'm sorry, when I want to ink, I lightly erase the sketch lines, but the confidence lines take a little bit more pressure. I'm not applying that much. So I can still see where I'm going to go, but I'm getting rid of my sketchiness and keeping the confidence. And that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness keep your confidence we'll do amazing things together and I'll be there to salute your rewards because I believe in you you can do this you got this all right so I say we welcome all the people that skip to the next portion and get going welcome skippers welcome to the sharpie portion of the video don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing of the day Every day, you can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie Fine Point and a Sharpie Pen. Mostly the Fine Point, but a pen's a little finer than the Fine Point. You can find things that the Fine Point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Disney, I think, playlists is what I'm going to put there. Check out that playlist. Uh, if not, give me a shout. Or just do a search, because I've drawn so many things that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So, um... Give me a request and I'll, I'll do that. If not, let's get going. So let me jump in with her face. I'm gonna start off with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line width much better. And 
just go with that. So her hair, some of her hair is flowing in her face, so I'm gonna draw her eyes, the top of her lids, like this, just to see if I've got them. They look a little sad, they're kinda like this, but see if I've got them level, basically. So I'm gonna go back and fix that sadness. But I'm going to draw the retina, the color part of the eye, like that. Again, this is so small, there's only so much I can do, so I'm just gonna kinda dab the pupil. There's not even really any room for it. So let me fix this sad eye. I ended up being like super, super down like that. So I'm trying to, to, to thicken up the top part for like a lash. I don't draw the bottom of the edge because mine will bleed. You're welcome to draw the bottom of the eye, but mine will bleed if I do that because these Sharpies will bleed at this size. So I'm just trying to draw some lashes. That's gotta work, that'll work. Um, for the rest of the face, oh, there's only so much I can do. Let me do some eyebrows at least. Now the hair is going to be coming down too, so I got to be careful. It's going to flow over this part of the brow, so I want to stop about right there because the hair is going to flow through like that. Then if I need to, I'll add more, but for now, that's all I want to do. For the nose, I can do some of the nostrils, right? The outer edge, just lightly. And the bulb, I guess we can do some of that, like the roundness of the nose. But any more, it's gonna to start to bleed, so that's why I'm gonna let like the, the bridge and all that. Let's, I can do maybe that. That's it. The rest is gonna, it's too much of a smooth contour that I don't wanna draw a hard edge with the Sharpie, so I'm being very subtle with what I draw. For the mouth, I'm just gonna do that. Draw the top lip, like this. like that and I think that's good for me so I'm gonna bring in the chin right around here and then bring the jawline over this way now I'm gonna to start to thicken up my lines too because when I switch over to this Sharpie you're gonna see a huge difference in line width so I'm trying to match kind of where it's going but uh, you don't have to it's totally up to you I'm just explaining to you why I draw, how I draw. And also the hair is gonna come in right here and I don't wanna draw through the jawline or through the hair. So maybe I should go ahead and start with the, the top of the head. Okay, so the hat is gonna be up here like this. And I wanted to do that edge so I can bring out the hair because it's kind of flowing through. So see like that, that's what I was talking about with the brow line I can draw to it now now that I have an edge and be very careful with the blonde hair because I want to draw some of the lines but not all of the lines because it's blonde hair you know and you gotta keep it subtle and with color but I want to draw a lot of it you know I want to leave a lot for color I guess is what I'm trying to say I'm trying to keep it light this okay I think that's good for the hair again I want to draw a bunch of lines I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop because I want to keep it subtle but now that I know where the edge is I can go ahead and draw the rest of the face so I'm gonna draw the jawline here See how I was trying to be careful not to draw through the hair, and now that I know where it is, I can actually draw to the hair. All right, and so same thing over here. I got some hair kind of flowing out. of the hat. Ooh, I can draw some ear here. You can see a little bit. All right, so then the neck is going to come down like this. Okay, 
awesome. Um, I guess I can draw the hat with the big, I mean with the tiny Sharpie since we're here. Um, basically her, the hat's kind of curved up so all we're seeing is the brim. So I'm just going to draw around it. It's going to be, you know, wonky. It's not going to be perfect and I'm okay with that. And I'm going to try. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I can't turn my paper and I have to do like this kind of thing, you know, it's hard. <laughs> so, um, so I I'm kind of telling myself it's okay that it's not going to be perfect. All right. Oh, this is hard. I want to, I want to turn, I guess I'm going to pull. Oh, see, off a little bit. But that's also the nice thing about thickening up my lines is I can kind of hide a little bit of any mistake. There you go, something like that. I can live with that, I can live with that. Okay, so I'm switching over to the other Sharpie. So I can draw her shirt, all that stuff. So she's got a little kerchief on in her shirt so let me draw the opening of the shirt like this and then I can draw the little kerchief like that but see what I'm saying see how thick this line is um, that's that's what I meant by I wanted to try to match the look just so it doesn't look really weird because of how, how thick this line is Good. This arm's gonna be upholding the necklace. I know she wore it, not really holding it as much. And this one's gonna be, oh, maybe I should draw the, the never mind. Let's not talk about that because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Now, let me tighten up my paper here. Okay. Um, okay, so let's draw this arm since we're over here. I'm gonna draw the shoulder kind of up, wrinkle the material basically. That's, that's the nice thing about this one is it's mostly gonna be cloth. You know, no armor, no weapons, nothing like that. Let me draw, let's see, her waist is here. Just so you can get a feel for the, the arm, the way it's going up, okay? And also, I know it looks kind of weird with that bend. Um, this is cloth, so that's why I was adding such a, such a bend to the material. It's just, it's just really wrinkled, basically. Okay, so this hand is gonna go up. Basically, we're drawing a fist is all we're doing. So, I'm gonna draw the fingers. Oh, you know what, let me draw the thumb. So you see how it's going over. It's gonna be kind of tricky for this size, but some movement and then I want it coming through here and we're just gonna draw like this we're not gonna worry about all the tiny little detail in it 
you know, something like that to represent the necklace. All right. This hand is just kind of up. She's kind of jumping in the air. So we're going to, I'll draw some more detail in the, um, the shirt in a second because there's more lines I want to draw. Um, so because this arm is raised, we're going to raise the shoulder up like that just a little bit again to the elbow and then the shirt is folded up like that. We're going to bring it back down to the body. waist where she's got her high belt with an or high waist with an awesome belt is what I was trying to say um, and add some more wrinkles and I'll do more in a second I'm just again just defining a few things first um, let's draw that arm and the arm is just gonna be out like this nothing crazy again because she's just jumping through the air I'm just saying that she's um, in a dynamic pose, right? So here's the thumb. And I'm pretty much just going around my, my sketch. Like that. Now I'm, gonna, I'm going to subtle, subtly Try to add some hand lines. The subtle is never my good uh, strong point. I always draw like these really big, big lines. That end up uh, adding a lot. So I'm always trying to be subtle. That'll work. That'll work. All right. So let's see. Um, since we're here again, let's draw some more wrinkle lines. Wrinkling up that material. And oh, and she's got big pockets. I like those pockets. It also helps us define a few things, like some curves and edges. but it also helped move the material. You know, we can show that it's curving. All right, um, let's go ahead and draw her shirt front like this. Perfect, okay. I'm not perfect, but good. I'm happy with it is what I'm trying to say. All right, lots of wrinkles, lots of folds to me that's what brings it alive you know that's what gives it life and I like doing that kind of stuff all right so she's got a big old fat belt let's see I'm gonna draw a buckle and then draw the belt and then we'll draw like the big um, uh, edge coming out like that Uh, the end of the belt. Okay. Just little subtle things like that just to make it, you know, um, look like it's in pants. not in pants but in the loops you know now the rest is just pretty much just cloth so all we're doing is drawing a leg out this way bending and this one's kind of moving so this one seems a little short to me I think I'm gonna extend it out a little bit so I'm gonna come out like this like that then down for the, the inside and it's rolled up do the other side too so you can get a feel for where we are again wrinkles and folds work it towards the crotch there 
And again, her legs, the other legs going out this way, so I'm gonna come back. And there's the knee, fold of the pants. I always do that, I always draw the outside instead of just drawing like that, you know, the actual fold. Um, I'm gonna come back this way. There's the hip, thigh, knee, wrinkled pants, and let's work this way, then we'll come and add the boots. So I'm gonna draw, let's see, let's draw the front like this. Gonna wrinkle the pants up. Kind of a low crotch, could have been higher, but that's okay, because we're gonna wrinkle it up. Right, wrinkle up them pants. Just because like I said, it's it's all it's all uh, bendy material. It just shows that it's all you know uh, moving moving with her in uh, an action fashion. All right, let's give her a knee. Just kind of accent that part of the pant. Isn't it strange to say pant? Because we're also used, used to calling them pants, right? But it's just one. So that's, wait, is that right? Pants, it's, st it's still, they're still pants. Pant is when like a dog is panting. That, and it's no longer a pair of pants. How, okay, so I'm not a speaker. What's correct? Is it a, a pant or is it pants? Because it's singular. Anyway, anyway, sorry, sorry, back to the drawing, back to the drawing. Um, boots, so this one is just kind of down, because she's jumping, so you can see the top of her boot. Something like that. Okay, and this one is, is kind of pointed down a little bit, so I'm gonna draw the, the calf coming back like this, down to the ankle. I'm gonna bend it, because it's really extended out from the front, let me show you being bent, pointed down so much like this. So see, it's not so much out, it's like this, so that puts a lot of stress on that ankle. Something like that. We'll put it on the inside right there. So for her heel, I kinda did that so I can add one of these. I guess she needs a little bit of a heel, huh? We'll thicken that up. All right, so again, I'm gonna add this bump. And I guess we'll do some laces. We'll go ahead and do that. Just to give it some texture, right? Plus, I like doing that. Just to give it a good feel, a good look. For laces, I just do this, real simple, just X's. I know it's simple, but with this big fat Sharpie like this, I like it. It's the same thing here. You can only see one side. And then, real quick, last thing, I'm just gonna add some eyelets if you can see I probably don't even have room for it but I'm gonna do it anyway all right so there you go I say we take care of the rest with color so that is Lily Houghton from Disney's Jungle Cruise. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.